We're coming from complications. Back in here, there is no footings. There is no concrete floor to put a post on to support those be uh, that uh, them floor joists up there. So we can't do it. I got to take this off. Bust into this wall right here. There's a concrete wall. And uh, put a beam in through that way. It's going to be hard. But, uh, you know, with a little effort we can do it, okay? Well, this is kind of pretty tricky. You gotta know what you're doing. Or you can get into a lot of trouble, man. And then it costs you a lot of money to have it fixed. See, I just took that apart like that. Now, make sure you put your glasses on. There might be a lot of crud that comes out there. Okay, now we gotta take this off. This is a vent pipe that went through the uh, hot water heater. Foundation is all messed up, man. And if there was like an earthquake or something, man, this place would fall right down, no problem. Old Michigan basements, man. Well, I, but I got a hole through there. Okay, I want to show you, I want to show you how bad this is, man. Okay? I mean, the house, you know, the, you know, the house was built a long time ago. But still, you know, because it's still got the bark on it, on the, on the wood, on the lumber. But look up in here, man. See that? See how rotten that is, man? Termites just got all over that, man. It's a wonder this floor did not fall down. You know, I gotta run a beam right here. All the way to the other side. So now I gotta go over there and punch a hole in there, I think. In order to have something to have it stabilized. Okay. Alright, man. I'm gonna show you what we did. Okay. Up here, this is all bad. You know, but the homeowner says, hey man, you know, leave it, it's cool. I say, okay, all right, I'll leave it. I ain't touching it. Because he's looking at a lot more money there. But he's looking at a lot of problems on, down the road too. But anyways, we come down here right here. This is concrete, but I, you know, it's probably only like maybe two inches thick. So I'm going to pour another 12 inches on top of that to create a better footing. Because uh, what we're going to do is this beam right here I got. That's where I cut that hole. Bust that hole open. This is going up against here. Gonna put a jack post right here to support the floor joist on this side. Cause that beam over there, it just, you know, don't do nothing. It's just crazy. So, but we need to get some concrete. So let's go. All right, so now we got that all done. Now we can go get the bags of concrete and uh, mix it up and, and put it in there. And then uh, we'll, we'll be done for today. I found my sunglasses, or my safety glasses. <laughs> and uh, instead of pouring concrete in there, what we're gonna go ahead and use are these, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use these uh, 12 inch by four inch uh, post footing uh, pads. Call them cookies. You know, they kind of look like a cookie. Some people think they look like wheels that they used to make back in uh, caveman days. Okay, well, it's all done. I got, I got that in now. It's all braced up. All we gotta do, all we gotta do now, man, is, uh, you know, kinda go over here. Right here. And put another post right there. That's all we gotta do, and then we're done. Okay? If this was my house, I'd tear the damn thing down, man. I would tear it down. It's, it's not worth it. I wouldn't want to live in the place, man. Tomorrow, we're gonna take this out. And then hopefully, uh, 
the damn electrician gets here. Because he's got to move all that stuff right there. All that. And then, and then we go ahead and we, you know, we can start putting in the uh, floor joists. And then tear the floor up and put a new floor down. And then uh, a couple walls upstairs and hey, I'll be done, man. Woo! I'm out of here the next job. Let's take, uh, take off now and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, right and early. Peace out, man.